Hey Pisces, let's take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. This is your individual read. I hope you guys are doing okay. We're going to take a look and see what's going on. I know what I see at the bottom of the deck, but in all fairness, I want to shuffle in front of you guys. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm going to shuffle the other way. These are not the most, uh, not the most sturdy cards, but they do what you need them to do. All right, I'm working with limited light over here. So yeah, I lightened it up a little bit. Okay. Still been a little bit of an effect. Okay. So what's going on with Pisces? What is Pisces right now? What's on Pisces mind? Tell me what's going on here with this five of wands energy so I can piece it together. I need to know what's going on. I see Pisces. It looks like you could be having some arguments and fights here. You guys have some battles going on here. Uh, this could be people around you, family members. But for some of you, this is somebody uh, with work. This is some competition here. Something that you guys are in cahoots with. Uh, it looks like it's. it could be co-workers or people in the industry. That's literally, yeah, people in industry. It says something about some new competition came in and you got shook or something like that, right? Or something made you be like, let me let me just make sure all my ducks are in a row, right? But you wound up fighting with people because of it. Give me, what's up? Something that's going to go before the judge. All right, so we know that there's something going on having to do with the judge here, right? So because I said, what is this fight about? Now, ironically enough here, I see that you guys are fighting with somebody. I see that the judge comes up because I'm like, what is it about? It confirms to me that there is something here that is going to go before the judge. Now, we do have the Queen of Swords. She is reversed. The Queen of Swords can be a judge too. All right, but you guys have some new factors that entered, I guess, into the neighborhood. This is causing some sort of fight, some sort of arguments. For some of you guys, depending on how you handle this situation, because I feel like this is going to court. Some of you, uh, Pisces, are having some conflict with um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, for some of you guys, there's something with Capricorn energy showing up as a major arcana here. But I see fights. I see a judge. I see a Queen of Swords reversed, right? So it means a couple of things here. The Queen of Swords reversed could be an actual judge, right? She could be somebody who is literally a judge. Confirmation, maybe. Maybe she's one of those judges that you really shouldn't play with. I do see that energy. Let me see what else here. Because this says something different. Hold on. Yeah, yeah it says that this person is cold-hearted. And that's upright. This person is cold-hearted towards the situation. So if we look at the Queen of Swords reverse, she's very open to what it is she's going to hear, right? Or we could look at it as I'm going to be open to what I hear, but I still don't play. I feel like it's a mixture of both with this judge. But I do see the judge making some sort of ruling here. What else is on Pisces' mind? Whatever this is about. Mm. I'm going to tell you this too. In terms of this card on its own, Pisces, if I take a look at this, it says that you are not dealing well with these fights and arguments and battles that you're having with other people, right? Um, it also goes on to say here that you are not dealing well with whatever loss is involved it talks about you guys having being, or for some of you, please keep in mind, this reading is not for everybody, right? It's not going to be every Pisces, right? It's not going to be every Capricorn that shows up, or this may not be your story, but you're more than welcome to join us, listen, be a cross watcher. We're happy to have you. Just enjoy the story, all right? Enjoy the folly that comes out of this nonsense, right? <laughs> all right, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, what I'm showing here is you guys are experiencing some sort of sadness. You could be withdrawing from this situation. Uh, for some of you guys here, you're still trying to figure out how am I going to handle this situation? Remember the outcome is based off how you handle it. Something goes before the judge. All right. But I feel like this judge is honest, upright. They're not going to play. They're coming out reverse because they don't play or this could be you calling judgment in some situation or seeing the situation for what it is being truthful about what it is to yourself here. You guys are having some sort of sadness that says you guys are mourning beyond reasonable limits. That means that this situation has been going on for a while. It also says that they, or whoever they, they to me is like the man. Who the heck is, nobody really knows who the man is, right? Because, you know, when you're at work, the boss is the man, but the boss got a man. So we don't really know who the man is, but I don't know, the man could be the judge. There's somebody here judging the situation. There's something keeping you guys up at night, something keeping you sad. You feel limited, bogged down in terms of energy. Emotionally, I feel like you guys are wallowing in pain. So society tells us 
uh, yeah, six months, you should be good. No, that's not necessarily true. That is something that I will continuously argue, right? That's like saying every person is the same, which is, uh, that's absurd. So you're not going to tell me I'm a heel in three days, like this one over here. No, that's not how it goes. So I think that needs to be revisited for a couple of reasons anyway, but yeah. So yeah, somebody wants you to conform to society. <laughs> they want to tell you that you, you got three days to grieve or something like that, even though you've been sad much longer. You guys are wallowing in pain over some situation. It's mental anguish. It is torment. So there's some mental torment. It's extreme torment is what I'm getting here. When you have this nine of swords like this, this is extreme torment. Your fears are highlighted. All right, but you guys are also letting go of emotions. What does that mean? I am finally starting to feel my emotions. I'm going to cry it out. I'm going to accept the fact that there's some stuff that I got to deal with after being involved in this or, you know, being involved in it somehow, whether you, uh, for you, whether you started it or whether you put somebody in it. Some of you guys are suffering. There's something where reality kicks in, but this is extreme mental anguish, anxiety, torment, extreme torment. For some of you, this is about something that was done. I don't know. It had to have been a bit ago, right? Because I see the three of cups reversed. So typically this card says you are celebrating with friends, these problems that are waking you up in the middle of the night, right? Where you don't know what's going on, but there's some deep rooted issue that you guys haven't dealt with. Maybe you suppressed it. It's coming to light with this nine of swords, right? So you guys could have done something having to do with folly, right? And these thoughts that you're having take you to an event, the event where you once had a circle of support or you thought these people were a circle of support for you, people that you would turn to for love, support, uh, I don't know, celebrations, you were celebrating and partying with these people. So we have this group of people here. Mind you, you're staying up all night. I can't sleep. This card comes out reverse the three of cups. The three of cups, this is gossip. This is too much partying. This is having no support. So I feel like you're fighting with this group of people, right? You know something's going before the judge. Mental turmoil. It goes back to an event where you did not have a circle of support or you currently do not. I feel like you don't, but I also feel like you rocked out with these people at some point. But I feel like it got out of control. Pisces, the cards are saying that you were overindulging. This could be group activities, extracurricular activities of a sexual nature, if you will. Something like that. There's drugs. There's sex. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here, right? But people then, even though these people are partying with you, they still turn around and turn on you, right? So now these people don't support you. Now you're up in the middle of the night. I'm fighting with these people. To be honest with you guys, I feel like these are two separate groups of people. I feel like these people over here are working industry. I feel like these are the people you went to for support. But you also had some sort of sexual encounters with these people in groups. Um, I also feel like here there's something where... Something is going to come down. There's some emotional issues that are going to come out here with the deep rooted issues, but you express them here, which is the three of cups overindulging, the drinking, the drugs, the party and the groups, X or whatever, the parties or whatever you're doing, right? These deep rooted issues started here, but they play out here. As you're tormented, you go back here. These people don't support me. I thought they were my friends, but you know, the other piece to it is boundaries were crossed right so you know friendship and then you know group stuff so I feel like that may have gotten in the way these people don't support you anymore because I feel like maybe this was supposed to be secretive or something like that the cards are saying here that whatever this was about this three cups of words it was very sensual for you right short-term gratification yep but it wasn't deeply emotional but now you're dealing with the deep emotions right here and you're starting to realize this happened to me at some point, and this is why I'm here partying with these people in groups. And this is also why these people turned against me. It could have been because of an addiction here with this devil energy or one of the friends in this group, this ringleader or whoever this is, right? Could have been a Capricorn. They come up reversed here. Now, in addition to this, Pisces, you could have had some sort of an affair with this Capricorn energy that's coming up. This could be an addiction. It could be an affair. It could highlight the fact that you are more into materialism and greed, right? That overtakes you, that overpowers you, or it's a dirty affair of some sort, something like that. All right? Sorry about that, guys. For some of you guys, this overindulging led to some sort of an addiction that led to your family being broken here. I think I pulled six for you. Yeah, because I felt like it was incomplete. So whatever addictions you were suffering or whoever this person is, this Capricorn... 
It says here that this Capricorn manipulated you. So this Capricorn manipulated you Pisces to get their needs satisfied, right? This person could have been doing spells, dark magic of some sort. The devil text us talk about somebody doing some sort of a spell. It's an illusion that you need to come out of, right? Along with that, the devil energy, because it speaks to that, it talks to, you know, drugs. So you could have been in chemically enhanced, like somebody could have been keeping you high. And that's what I see with this group of people here, right? So it says, Pisces, that you, or maybe it's this Capricorn energy, feel trapped in this situation, right? It says here... This is because of your own attitude towards something, right? So this is how you feel about something. It's your attitude. For some of you guys, you're unwilling to bend. But it also says here that your beliefs are what is causing the problem. So if you believe that these drugs don't do anything, oh no, no big deal. I can still get up and go to work, da da da. So your attitude towards whatever it is having some impact on you is ultimately what's going to finish you. That's what it seems like. It seems like you're making excuses here. For some of you guys, you could be making an excuse for Capricorn. For some of you, you could make an excuse for why I overeat, why I undereat, why I have all these men, all these women, and I'm still not satisfied, why I'm attracted to money, why I'm attracted to greed, why am I attracted to dead-end affairs that I know are dirty and not going to work, even at the risk of losing my family, ten of cups reversed, okay? So I feel like for some of you guys, whatever the situation is, it has had some impact on a marriage, a family setting, marriage, children. For some of you, you're not going to reunite with these people. For some of you, your family has dropped off the face of the earth because I feel like maybe you have hurt them that much or you've had that much of an impact that is negative on them. Maybe these people are staying away from you. But also, even with it being reversed, right? Because upright, it's about family. So when it's reversed, it signals confirmation. There's trouble there. Somebody could have a broken home. Somebody's kids could have left home, right? I'm gone. I'm out of here, right? But also it says a broken marriage. So somebody's marriage could have been impacted by an affair had with a Capricorn, right? You could have been married to a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Some of you, an uh, Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. All right, tell me. Let's go into this piece of it because I didn't want to go all over the place, right? So something's going before the judge. Give me more. What's on Pisces' mind when the Queen of Swords reverse comes up in the Knight of Swords? What's that? They keep thinking, all these thoughts. So confirmation, these thoughts are keeping you up day and night over some outcome with a judge. How a judge ruled, how a judge is going to rule. So torture, tor torture, torment, mental anguish, right? Extreme mental anguish and torture. Thought. I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking. So this is all over your mind, but... Tell me about what is Pisces thinking with this Three of Cups reverse. These people who no longer support Pisces or Pisces can't rely on them or they were, you know, Pisces thought they were once friends and it looks like they're foe. These people have turned their back on you, Pisces, it looks like, or you turned your back on them or you realized they were never really rocking with you in the first place. Okay, so what is this Three of Cups about? Okay, this is about a lover that somebody doesn't want to come out. Now, I said, what is on Pisces' mind? With this three of cups reversed here, this is a lover, all right? Something with a lover. Somebody's thinking about something coming out about a lover. Three of cups, all right? Somebody, you know, I told you it was some group. So what if this person finds out? What if my love, I don't want my lover to find out I was involved with some group stuff. Or in some cases, this could have been something that was done in the past, Pisces, whatever. But it says lover reversed. Uh, I don't want them. Now, this also here, it says something about... For some of you guys, there's also something, you know, coming out about dealings, right? The devil is reversed, but it might also uh, have some sort of impact on your family, which is why they may have to stay away from you. We do have something with the devil that could symbolize somebody being trafficked or being involved with trafficking of some sort. Now, this could be cat trafficking. This could be because I see some sex here. I see people fighting. I see torment. I see overindulging partying, which people start gossiping. A gift. There's a lover. The next thing on Pisces' mind is a gift. A gift that I gave. There was something that somebody gave. Somebody's lover could have been a, a Capricorn. Somebody could have given a gift to a lover. I'll look at it, right? I don't want the police to know something about the police or an officer. I don't want somebody, I don't want the officers to look into this. There's something that Pisces does not want folks to know. Now, I, or Pisces, this is what's on your mind. I don't know who this is, right? So I see that you guys are fighting, 
confirmation with a judge. You keep thinking about something that's tormenting you. Some overindulging with a group of people who no longer supported you. One of these people could have been an ex-lover that you guys gave a gift to. The devil reverse. That's some sort of an addiction. The gift could have been the addiction. Hmm, let me see if I can look that up. Hold on. Uh, oh, got it. Okay. Remember I told you guys this was some dirty affair because somebody was married. All right, here's the confirmation. Somebody leaves a dirty affair, right? So Pisces, you could have lost a lover because of an affair that you had with somebody. So this could have impacted your family, right? So I don't know if this was your husband, your partner, your wife, significant other, whoever. I don't know who this person is, but lovers reverse. They could have left you because of overindulging. Somebody sent somebody a gift, but somebody still chose to leave an abusive relationship in hopes that the officer would not get involved in this family thing. But the judge is already here. This is why I'm thinking there's two different instances going on. Pisces worried about two different things. The outcome, judge, thought. What is my lover going to think? Or this is going to split me and my lover up once they find out about this group thing. This gift though. Mm -hmm. Give me this gift, please. Clarify the gift. There's something, there's a gift that you guys don't want the officer to know about. This is what's on your mind. I don't want the officer to find this out. It's like uh, the judge... The thought, the lover, somebody might have a lover somewhere. They were one of, one of these friends. Somebody was hanging out in a romantic way with somebody in this group, right? You see this group of friends here? Somebody could have been like, you know, a, cheating in the group. What's this gift about though? Just one. Give me one card about this gift. Uh oh, a card bell. Oh, got it. Let me see what this is. Eight of Pentacles. Hard work paying off. Eight of Pentacles is about work. The gift was money. The gift was work. The gift was money. Eight of Pentacles is about money. It's about mastering your craft. It's about work. Somebody needs to repair something. This could be about some sort of repair work. Something about moving somebody's career ahead, right? I'm going to give you some money. This was about money. The gift was fine. The gift was financial. It had to do with somebody's work. So maybe somebody paid a cop to keep quiet, but I'm not getting that. I get don't contact the cops. I feel like somebody may have reached out to an ex-lover. I hate to read them this way, guys. Give me this lover reversed here and this gift. Give me the story the other way. What happened? Oh my goodness, lovers! Listen, confirmation. Lovers reversed. I gave my lover a gift or the, I paid the lover some money so they don't say nothing. Let me see what this is. Love affairs. Ooh, cha, love affairs. Romance. Building again within a marriage. Somebody could be trying to repair something in a marriage because their person, their wife or husband took off because of this group, whatever. Plus them being involved with addictions and trafficking and all this other stuff, right? Relationship, relatives, loving relationship. You could make a friend. Somebody paid off their lover not to report something to the cops or let's keep this quiet. I feel like you're already in court for something else because something's going to court. But I feel like that's that has to do more with work here with this five of wands. That's industry. That's competition. That's typically work. When you get over into the area of love, it looks like you guys maybe had some deep roots, something with a lover where you paid them or you sent them a gift. Because either they left you and you were saying sorry to them or you paying them so they'll be quiet. Ace of Wands here. Yup. Oh, child. So somebody's thinking about a new lover. This is an affair. Somebody had an affair. Give me one more. Tell me about the judge. Yeah, somebody going to court. They're telling the, they're telling the side piece to please be quiet. Hold on. Give me one. Yup. Knight of Pentacles. A message share. I'm sending you a message quietly. Somebody reached out. Pisces, it says here that maybe you guys, you guys are already in some sort of a battle. It says here that you have some lover here, some lover that nobody's supposed to know about. You have this lover energy. It's the Knight of Pentacles. This person that you guys got involved with wasn't even working, right? But there was some new, 
new toy for you with the ace of wands here maybe there was somebody because this is romance this is romantically driven you guys had this new side piece this side piece could have been an aries a leo or a sagittarius could have been a capricorn taurus or a virgo but this person had no job this knight of pentacles so this person had nothing they were there they were cute the sex okay great right you didn't want anybody to know about this because the lover comes out reverse. So this lover could have been a quiet lover within a group of friends or you didn't want your friends to know about this lover, right? It was like a public secret. The lover comes out reverse. So you found a new lover. Give me more. Tell me about tell me about this gift, a new lover and a gift. I know it was money, so I mean I'm safe to keep this here, but I don't mind figuring out cuz I also feel like that answers a gift. I don't want the cops to know. Tell me what's up with this um Wait a minute. What's up with this? Who is that? The lover reversed in a gift. The seven of cups. I made the wrong choice. I knew something wasn't long term. Seven of cups reverses when somebody has all these options in front of them, but none of them are long term, right? So it says that you had an affair with somebody, Pisces, where you knew it wasn't going to be long term. It could have been a Capricorn that you gave a gift to. Here you go. I made the, I, you were a short-term choice. I gave you a gift or it could have been Capricorn. I had an affair with you. I gave you a gift. I made the wrong choice. It almost feels apologetic. Like you're sorry about something. What is a gift? The gift could have been the eight of Pentacles. It could have been something having to do with finances here. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. It does talk about a body of work. Yes, it does. But it also says something about repair work. If I had to take that and move it to emotions, I would say you were trying to repair something, right? Like, don't make this situation worse. I'm going to pay you some money. But you, but it's kind of like, I'm sorry that you couldn't be more than that to me. But here's a gift to shut up. I don't want the cops to know about something. This has already had an impact on my family. This could be a rush to make sure a family is not impacted. But it looks like it still is with this Ten of Cups reverse. Somebody's already left home. A marriage is already broken. There's affairs showing up here. This Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. What else do I need to know? Because I think we have the whole story. <sighs> this person was doing dark magic. Somebody could have been doing something to manipulate you. Oh, okay. So you guys, Pisces, you guys could have had a Virgo do something dark. Or they were doing dark magic on you. This is a magician reverse here, right? Somebody was doing something to make things go in their favor, right? They sent maybe this Knight of Pentacles to you guys, somebody who's unreliable, jobless, but they were able to give you sex, right? New beginnings, maybe something with a baby. Maybe they wanted somebody to get you pregnant. It looks like a concoction, but it was some sort of a new love interest that offered sex, good looks, but no money, right? Something with a lover. After that, it's the Two of Swords here. Um, you guys are trying to find some balance in something, or I feel like whoever this is that sent this lover to you might have been trying to find some sort of balance in some situation, right? However, maybe they wanted something to confuse you. They wanted you to be stuck between a Gemini and a Virgo, right? Because that's where these, these arrows are pointing. They offered, they sent a couple of people to you. They sent them. They sent a Virgo to you, Pisces, and they always then they also sent a Gemini to you. Two of Swords. Trying to find harmony. Which one do I want to deal with, right? Some of you guys are assessing or reassessing a situation. Some of you guys are thinking about this. You keep thinking. Why do you keep thinking like this? Well, can we clarify the lovers and the seven of cups reverse? Because this person feels like both you guys were bad love choices. I feel like whoever this person is. Whoever this person is, Pisces, right? The Ace of Cups. And this just might be your story. Whatever's going on here, I feel like you guys were built up or you had two great ideas about these people. Like these people have money, they have houses, they can give me the world, they can give me the D, they can give me the P, whatever, right? You just thought great, but it turned out not to be that way. Both these people were duds. It says that you were let down after feeling uplifted about the possibilities of love. So I don't think that happened. I, I hear some of you guys feel disappointed. I hear something. I hear people screaming. It is torturous. Somebody is being tortured right now. Two of Pentacles coming out reverse for. So this is the inability to commit, right? So for some of you guys, Pisces, you could not commit to 
first of all, you couldn't commit to your union, your marriage, or whatever this is, right? It looks like you're fighting with rivals, fighting with people at work, things at work going before the judge, right? With fear that this is now going to spill over to my love life, which it does. You guys, it looks like it's paying off a lover by giving a gift. So they're quiet about a cop or they're keeping a cop quiet. I feel like this is a more of don't tell the cop. But the flip side to it is you had a lover, but I don't know. The judge is judging something with the Knight of Pentacles here. Somebody did dark magic. Somebody sent somebody to bad choices when it comes to love, one could have been a Gemini, one could have been a Virgo sent to you, or you had false starts with these people. Two of Pentacles reverse, the inability to commit. So you can't commit to these people. You can't, maybe you can't commit to these people or these people could not commit to you, but I feel like you were married. Either you were married or this Capricorn that you had an affair with was married. The rest of these people, I just think they were jokes to you and you weren't checking for them anyway, but you're like, all right, let me, let me skim your resume to see, but I don't think you guys, I feel like it was a false start. I feel like on paper, whoever these two people are, they turned out to be duds, but I feel like you actually indulged with somebody, this Capricorn here in a group setting that happened and it ended up messing up your family too. <sighs> What's the dark magic about? Cause it looks like this Knight of Pentacles, this jobless person, they would have a magic done on them or they would do a magic clarify Magician reverse, please, and the two of swords. Two of cups, this had to do with a relationship. This had to do with love, a romantic partnership, or it could have been a partnership. All right. So you were considering this person, Pisces, as one of your options here for the two of cups. That love that you wanted, two people joining together in tandem. Two of swords and ace of cups reverse. It tells me that you guys, somebody was a dud. Ace of swords, I found out something new about you, right? I found out some information that causes me frustrations and I don't know if you're the right choice, right? And I feel like this is the same for both these people, for this Virgo and uh, who's this other one over here? Who's that again? And it's Gemini over here. I don't know if you got, but you still opted to bed. I don't, it's just affairs like, I don't know. I feel like you had a couple of affairs. Tell me about this Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles reverse. Inability to commit. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Cups, love. Two of Swords, found out something new. Ace of Pentacles. You found out somebody has some money coming. Wait a minute. You just found out, somebody found out that somebody has some money coming after juggling. Somebody's family was messed up. I don't want the cop to know. I'm paying somebody off. I'm struggling with money. But there's some money coming in. Ace of Pentacles. You were making a decision about love because you know you have some new money coming in. The options that you guys have come across so far, they turned out to be duds. I feel like there's some confusion or something around a Gemini and you did consider this hermit energy, but I feel like this person's jobless. So it feels like maybe it's just about sex or something or maybe just about money. It looks like that's what your conclusion is, love. Something new that I am thinking about when it comes to love or trying to get clarity about. I have some sort of a new conflict. Ace of Swords is a revelation. It's something that concerns me. It's like a new conflict. Your new conflict is you guys have some money coming in and you're very skeptical about a partner. Can I expand with these people? For somebody, you guys could have been waiting for results to come in when it comes to something. But some plans fall apart. There's something with travel issues. There's money coming. Somebody's going to be. There's a divine wish being granted. There's a divine wish being granted to somebody. And two of wands is about expansion or movement over air. Somebody's plans fall apart. Whose plans fall apart though? Is it Pisces plans? Whose plans fall apart please? I feel like whoever you wanted, first of all, I feel like whoever you wanted to have a, a beautiful outcome with and, you know, share this Ace of Pentacles or whatever's coming, whatever wish you have, I feel like whoever these people are, I don't know, I feel like they may have talked themselves out of it or something like that. You, I feel like the conclusion is you can't grow with these people, whoever these two options are, but you also can't grow with this devil energy because it's a dead end affair that has something to do with addictions. I, I feel like that's more with a group of people. But I feel like other love options for you. First of all, I feel like you're married. The Ten of Cups, because your family's already broken, kids gone, could suggest that you're divorced 
or separated, but it does say broken family because I want to be clear about that. Family trouble, empty nest, broken marriage. It does not say divorce. It says a broken marriage, fractured, right? So some of these people are still married. Some of these Pisces out here looking for somebody new over here are still married. Make that make sense. There you go. Looking for somebody new. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Give me um, give me one more card, please. Who is this? Give me one more card. Temperance. Somebody's trying to be patient. Somebody can't move or do anything because of money restrictions, but they are testing the waters with these other folk. So somebody's married, waiting for money and testing the waters. You got a cheater here. <laughs> Isis, it says you cheating. Some of you are cheating with a Sagittarius, or some of you are testing the water with a Sagittarius to see where how things are gonna go. How are things going to go? Who is this temperance? So, I mean, if I got a couple of cards, then I don't think these cards are going to do it. But just give me a card or tell me what this person's thinking is sad. I'm thinking about sending you a message. Somebody with money restrictions wants to send you a message, Pisces. Uh, who else? Give me this magician reverse. This, this one is a baby. I'm hiding a baby. There's a Virgo hiding a baby or there's something off about a baby. Right? For some of you guys, you realize that because of fertility issues, you cannot have a baby with this Virgo for whatever reasons. It keeps coming up and it came up again. Fertility issues. I almost thought this reading was going to be about fertility because of the judge, but there are some fertility issues and why you are not considering somebody for this, I guess, your next affair that you're going to have after the devil affair with the Capricorn. I look like you're looking for another potential affair. <laughs> Listen, each his own. I, I don't know. Whatever makes you, whatever. Listen, whatever makes you sleep at night. I don't care two craps what these folks are doing. I'm just telling you what I see. These people is crazy. So somebody's looking for a new affair, partner. Uh, there's one more here. The lovers, the lovers. Give me that one. What's up with the lovers? This one is trying to come out of some sadness or get over some sort of sadness. Feeling blue, very sad, this Gemini. Give me one more to explain. What are they sad about? A death. Somebody's sad about a death. Uh, there's a Gemini out there who could be sad about a death. Maybe somebody died. I don't know. Somebody's sad. There's a Gemini who's sad about a death or something like that. Who died, actually, out of curiosity? Who died? Hello. Death. Morte. Morte. I don't know. It says whoever died, they were rich or they died without fortune. Somebody's, somebody's sad because this Gemini is sad because somebody dies and there was no money or there was no fortune. This person's a widower. Somebody's person passes. Somebody's wife or husband passes. Mm. They're looking for hope. They'll see this person's at the grave. Whoever this is, they're trying to find some kind of hope. So somebody could have died. Somebody could be grieving a partner. You guys... You could be grieving Pisces. You could be grieving a partner or a partner could be grieving a Pisces. I don't know. There's something here about a death or Gemini. Yeah. Something with a death. Is there anything else here that I need to do? I don't think so. I didn't want to just pull out them same doggone cards. So I was like, oh, you know what I do want? Give me this Capricorn, actually. This Capricorn who... uh. The devil energy, right? So we already explained that. But this Capricorn, give me what is this? What is this Cap thinking? Give me loss. Ooh, they're thinking about a loss too. Somebody could have gifted somebody something because of a loss. Somebody really could have passed. It could have been a Capricorn that passed, a Gemini that passed. Give me these people fighting. Give me one card. What's the, what are the people fighting about? These people are fighting over some sort of celebration, merriment, some happy occasion. Something could have broke out at a party. Somebody's fighting over some sort of celebration that was supposed to be a happy one. Give me one more. Tell me, what is, it, what is these folks fighting about? A house. They're fighting over. They were celebrating once about some property. So there was a celebration about a property or celebration on a property. These people are now fighting. Give me one more. Because they said that whatever they were told or presented 
in terms of information was false. We are questioning whether or not this nonsense you presented to us was true. Somebody could have had a fake wedding <laughs> to get a house. The house could be yellow. It could be, I don't know, that looked like Jamaica to me. It could be anywhere, whatever. One more. Well, give me the broken family. Why not? Give me one more. Give me the broken family. Journey. Somebody's journeying away from the broken family. Somebody took off and left. All right, somebody left. They're like, don't call the cops. And they went and visited somewhere. So there was a visit. They took a journey. There was a visit. There was a trip that somebody took that ultimately ended their marriage or disrupted their family. This feels like an end. Yep. And it caused some sort of misfortune. After somebody came back from this trip, it was all hell that broke loose. Is there anything else? Give me Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Fidelity. Somebody expected to have some kind of joy, but and they want to have their fidelity. They want to be honest about something. They don't. They don't want it. Something about somebody. They don't want to admit that somebody's an enemy. They don't want to admit that somebody's a thief. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo who you feel is a liar and a thief and who's jealous of you. I feel like you guys are having some uh, revelations, but I do want to clarify something. What is the new revelation over the money? What is the Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles? what is this what's the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles what new what did they learn new about some money i know they learned that they can't move on with somebody page of pentacles i'm not gonna take it because i ain't done asking my question but i know that you guys feel like you can't move on with a couple of people because you can't grow anything with them i can't expand with you but you get some revelation what is this revelation that you get the King of Swords, you guys get some kind of revelation that somebody's a little off here, right? Maybe you guys have this realization that something that something that was done by a Libra Aquarius or a Gemini was corrupt. Somebody may have been bribed into doing something, all right? You realize that you guys could have been dealing with a con man. This could be your lover, or you might feel like these people, whoever they sent to you, it was sent by a Libra Aquarius or, uh, or Gemini, they sent a lover to you. These people were con people. This is a con man, susceptible to bribery, right? And you're going to get some justice in this situation. You guys could be dealing with a Libra or there's a judge. It could be a crooked judge <laughs> and located in the justice system who's going to rule in a legal situation. Uh -oh. They're going to determine whether or not you're free on something. Now, this could be a corrupt judge or this could be somebody like so serious about their stuff. But the King of Swords reverses somebody who's corrupt. You're going to get some justice over somebody who is corrupt. But still with the Eight of Swords, it kind of feels like, I don't know that you guys, it says some kind of release, escape. Maybe this is going to give you guys some new hope in something. Or maybe this corrupt judge is going to set somebody free. Uh, they might set a knight of swords free right they gonna set them free and they gonna go let's see what just flipped they could set a pisces free deception or delays somebody there's some deceptive tactics that could be used to set you free pisces or something it also goes on to say deception or delays emotions up and down so you guys could be like up and down in emotions extreme highs low lows but you could be deceiving yourself about a situation something that you're deceiving yourself about emotionally or you're deceiving yourselves about other people it shows up in the read it does it's clear as day so there's something here with this moon card something that is illuminated right i feel like you guys are going to find out something but it's something that you didn't expect, something that you didn't see coming. It's unseen problems. But also, when you see these things, there's a voluntary change, right? So once you're made aware of something, I feel like once you guys are made aware that you could go to jail over something, right? Some of you guys have been set free from something or you're looking to be set free because there's a corrupt judge here. This Knight of Swords keeps wanting to come out. There's something with somebody's fast thinking. Somebody could be involved in the military. Somebody could have changed their lives or they change locations often. Somebody travels on the road, but this is a military person. All right, there's a Pisces in the military or affiliated with the military. There's a King of Swords reversed here. There's a Justice card. Give me one more. 
Ace of Swords. Now I know because I got a couple of these things because I wanted them there. Ace of Swords reverse here. Somebody stressed out over something, over a, a, a judgment because of dishonesty. So somebody is going to get justice, but they lied about something. So the justice is going to go how it goes. Somebody still not, they're still undecided about what they're going to do or what the decision is in some case. Give me one more. Aries, there's an Aries Leo Sagittarius working with you Pisces again about this Ace of Pentacles. Some divine wish. Somebody tried to take somebody's finances, take some sort of money. Somebody stressed out. Out of greed. Somebody's going into debt, stressing out over greed. It says, you know, somebody tried to take somebody's money and they got caught and now they're stressed out. That's what it feels like. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. That's all I have for you. I just wanted to give you that little story. <laughs> a little 40-minute story. Anyway, I love you guys. Uh, yeah, but there's some fighting with people. Oh, don't wait. I'm not done. I'm going to try this. And don't. I was prepared for this. I, Yes, I was prepared for this. All right. Because I love these things, I'm going to pull them. And I put more stuff in here, so... All right, but I want a rune. I can feel. Okay. To confirm the read. Yep. All right. Let's see what it is. Ooh, look at my little thing. I got it in a plastic wrap. Yep. This was about wealth, luck, energy, and fertility. Something with a kid. Something with a kid. Something about growing a situation. What else does Pisces need to know? This was about money. It was about the Ace of Pentacles. It was about wealth. This one came out. What else comes out? That looks like the other one. Hold on, y'all. Somebody was using magic. Yes, they were. We see that right there. Somebody was using magic. They were using magic to free themselves, which is why you see the Eight of Swords. It's reversed. Somebody's wishing for somebody's wishing and thinking because this is really about a lot of thinking. Somebody's thinking about how can I be set free? How can I be free from this? Right. So that makes sense. Um, it also says a rebirth, awakening, protection. Somebody's looking for protection, so they're reaching out to a dirty judge. Give me one more. Hmm. Let me tell y'all. I'm going to use these suckers. That's all I went through to get these things in here. Hold on, give me one more. Give me another room. Okay. That one. Right? I guess the messages are consistent. This one is about teamwork. Yep. They use a group of people, teamwork, people that they trust, people that they harmonize with. This is about a marriage. This is about loyalty, right? So that's what's coming out for you, Pisces. All right. Uh, let me just get a couple of letters. Let me see if this works. These things are so microscopic, but I had some leftover. I was like, hey, why not? Uh, who do I want for craps and giggles? Give me this Pisces. Give me the initials of this Pisces. All right. I'm going to try. This Pisces name could start with an I. There's an I, a D, a O, a U, or a G here. Again, a U, an O, a D, I, or G. Those are the letters that come out for this Pisces energy that shows up, right? Who else? I like them too because they're really little, so they don't take up a lot of space. But you got to look like cats to try and see what they are, especially in limited light. Give me more. All right. Who is, who is this Virgo? What does your name start with? Any of these letters could fit in their names. Okay. All right, let's go. What we got? Hold on. I got one that fell. Mm, somebody could owe somebody $2,500, $500, $1,500, something like that. All right. Uh, who is this? Who is this? Um, the magician. Who is that? R F Z. Somebody's name could start with a Z, or maybe you call somebody Z. What is this? G. We got another G. Somebody could be a Virgo whose name starts with a G. Oh, who else is here? Who's this under Libra? M X S P N. All right. Let me grab some more. Who else is here? Who else is here? I got it. Oh, I want to know. What's this Capricorn? What's the name start with? What Capricorn's name start with? Hold on. In this read, I got an E, 
a E, a O, a X, a G, H, N, L, C, A, B, S. Somebody's full of BS. <laughs> I, N, G. All right. So I'm going to leave it there because this is way too much stuff. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I love you, Pisces. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.